Hello, everybody. Welcome along to another coverage of the Mitre 10 Heartland Championship. Thanks to our sponsors, Main Freight, of course. Toyota still wet and forget, and we get great support from Sky's Rugby Channel and from the sunny and warm on the western side of the Alps. And there's a big clash going on here. This is Buller against West Coast. It's a great rivalry for the Rundle Cup. There is the cup. Buller doing better this year. Coast have something to say about that. Bit of rain yesterday, but the sun's shining. Uh, we were looking to chuck the, pig, uh, the old pigskin around and try and, you'll be uh, hoping to be trying to get a few meat pies. Yeah, yep. Yeah, been uh, lucky f for the last couple of games. Been uh, going pretty well, so hopefully I can grab a couple off you instead of you scoring all the tries. And uh, I noticed last week you've got a wee technique at the back of the scrum there. Do you want to just talk us through that and what's it called? Yeah, that's the uh, Samoan frog hop, uh, the back of the scrum there. You just um, try and keep the ball in between your legs and just hop your way along. And when you see the try line, just, yeah, go for gold. A good win last week, Troy. Uh, you had to do the hard yards first against East Coast before you finally got up to take the victory. Yeah, uh, we knew they were going to be a tough opposition. They um, they love throwing the ball around and we let them there for a little bit and they uh, got on top of us. But uh, yeah, we dug deep towards the end there and um, got a good couple of tries and lucky to get the win, really. Well, it talks about a good couple of tries. He's sort of doing the try scoring himself, Nick, isn't he, really? Troy is, yeah. He's hogging. He needs to learn how to pass the ball, but uh, I think the only time he passes it when he throws it in off line out. Gee, I'll tell you what. You're, you're fair game, aren't you? When you give these blokes a, a microphone, they just crack at you. I'll tell you. So, West Coast are on the field. Here come the Buller guys. The Rundle Cup is at stake. Barry Townrow is the commentator. Fierce play there from West Coast. Good defence. Comes up again to Navin of Uh Manages to slip through uh, the tackle of the uh, flanker there of Brogan Watt. But Buller still has it under control. This time the hooker is Anthony Allison. And he's over the 10 metre mark. He's up over the halfway mark. Mark Kerr doesn't want to tackle him. He's running alongside him now. <laughs> and uh, as, uh, he's 15 metres inside Coast Territory. While oh, the pass goes behind Craig Moore. Picked up there by Lash. He comes back to the right. Oh, he dummies one way. Dummies one. And Lash is over the 22 metre mark. Up to the fullback Cummings. He says goodbye to him. And... Uh, James Lash, in the opening minutes, has danced his way, like dancing with the stars, all the way down, and has scored under the post. Bullard doing it all from their own 22-metre mark. Exactly, and who would have thought the man up the middle, the, the hooker there, Anthony Ellis, took it for a good 40 metres on his own, popped that pass, and like you said, dancing with the stars, left, right. I didn't think Lash knew which way he's going to go, but he did, straight under the post, Bass. Down towards the back, Hecklestaff gets it beautifully down to Stevens. Out there to Neighbours at first 5'8", and he uh, cuts up over the halfway mark before he gets taken to the ground. Stevens gets it out there to Lash. Wee bit of a run. Oh, a long pass out there to Ty Lua. Beautiful pass. Ty Lua's put the burners on. Comes up towards the fullback. Oh, he cuts back inside. He hits the quark wire outside of him. Just inside the 22-metre mark, West Coast Territory. They are along the Buller back line now. Nathan of has got it. He's having to go for the post. They're not going to stop the big fella. And Penne, Nathan of will score under the goal post there. Uh, that was the run there from Anthony Ty Lua with uh, Penne, Nathan of scoring the uh, second try there. After that break there from Anthony Tailua, Cummings was just almost able to stop him and has given James Lash the easiest of conversions. The flags do go up and the referee says yes, it will be half time. Well, uh, full marks there to Buller for hanging out there, but West Coast be very disappointed, Jason, that they weren't able to uh, put points on the board. They've been able to into the first 5 8 position on the left hand side. And uh, Haitung tries to come off the back. Does get up to Naven of Alou. Slips it back inside to Tui Dreva. Oh, he goes up towards the other fullback there. He's over through him and has scored. Well, kiss your sister. How about that for no fun? <laughs> I tell you what, was there anyone even looking to tackle him? It was so easy on the wet and forget replay. Walks through there, got a couple wee pats on the back on the way through. No real solid defence and no one going around those ankles as we talked about earlier, Barry. Five out from the line, midway between the goalpost and the corner flag. Sequaqua, he's come on, he's on the left wing here. Been put in. High has gone off the back. He's going towards the line. He's pulled up about a metre short there. <coughs> West Coast are defending hard. Comes up to the Silver Moore. Fox more. And what does the referee say? He's yes. given the Silver Fox a try. The well. wet head from Reefton used to be the neighbour across the road. Young Maury has turned into a big man and scored a big try, Barry. It was High Tung who came off the back. He kept going to the open. As he got taken, he slipped it up to Craig Moore. And Craig Moore, he managed to reach the big hand forward. He has dotted it down to the right of the post. And so Electra Services Buller now out to 38 points to nil. Buller holding it in the bag. We've got Navin of Baloo 
on the short side, but uh, High Tongue gives it up to Manus too, out to Lash. Oh, big pass right in the far side there to Tui Driva, and he's over the 10-metre mark uh, before he gets tripped up and put to ground. Full of forwards over very, very quickly. Lockie Alley picks it up, lays it back there for Manu two up there. Lash gives it straight up there to Ecclestaff doing uh, the work out in the back there. He lays it back uh, for Manu two, and he fires it out again to Lash. Long pass out there. Goes uh, up there to uh, Luke Watson. Luke Watson has uh, Nathan of Blue outside him. Gives it inside oh. there to Sakura. Uh, Sakura goes across field and heads towards the goal post. And Buller will finish off with a try under the post with Seti Fano Sakwakwa. My co-commentator has uh, thrown his toys in the air. The dummy's been spat out. And really, I know what you're going to say. That sums up the game for you. It does sum up the game, Barry, you know. Some good passing there by Buller and good option taking. But I talked about before West Coast trying the Hale Mary pass. That was simple Buller rugby. Run, draw the pass, put your pull day. Speaking of backing up, there's a vulture or two swarming here. And uh, with that conversion there from James Lash, Electro Services Buller 48 have defeated West Coast nil here at Victoria Square in Westport. Very, very good win that, and there's the spoils. Go to box.com and follow your nose through domestic championship to the Hartman Rugby page. And you'll see there what's going on in the championship and what's been going on in Buller over recent years. Both of you coaching 100 games for Buller. Absolutely magnificent effort. A presentation made before the game, and uh, that must have given the team something to fire up on. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure coaching Buller for, for all this time, and... Uh, we did have a, a little presentation before the game and uh, we told them that uh, you know we'd give every game back as long as we got the right result today and we did. We, we kept close to nil and uh, 48 points, it was, it was pure, pure gold down here. In 100 games, uh, guys, coaching, that's a fabulous effort for our, our union, the Bully Union. Uh, we feel proud. You must uh, feel a little bit of a heartbeat there yourself. Oh, yeah, well, no, it was quite an emotional time, um, you know, like we've... I guess, you know, we're New Zealand's smallest union by playing numbers, but what we've done over the years, we've, our rugby's evolved, and, you know, now we can sort of front it with a few of the better teams and we can we play a good brand of footy. And it's not just the footy on the field, it's the people off the game. You know, like today, seeing some of our lone players make the effort to come and see us today, was uh, it was special and a uh, time we'll never forget. And, Bug, after all that, uh, the kids here, this is what we do it for, isn't it? These are our future, and uh, hopefully they will aspire to uh, pull on the red and blue jersey. Yeah, the kids, yeah, but they've, all got, they've both got good mums, so all, all of them have got a couple of good mums, so if it wasn't for their mums, we wouldn't be here, would we? Ten Hartland Championship, there's some great games coming up. Horofanua Kapiti against King Country, that's a real good one. North Otago, Wairapa Bush, looking forward to that. And also Thames Valley against South Canterbury. Well, we want you all to stay safe, as it said on the back of that main freight truck. But also, as it hinted on the back of that, you've got to live life with a little bit of risk. And that's what we're seeing in the rugby here in the Mitre 10 Heartland Championship. Players are playing with freedom. The game plan allows a little bit of risk. And we're seeing some high quality and very entertaining footy in the championship. Come back next week. We'll bring you all of that on Main Freight Rugby. <laughs>